This field, we're taking a quick look at North Dakota State's offense against Colorado. And right here on this one, the very first thing you're looking at is just a draw. So there's some sort of an empty look, and they're running the outs, all that stuff. Quarterback's looking. If you like it, great, but it's a five-man front. So we get body on a body, and there's nobody left in the middle of the field. So right here, really good call. Second and nine. Everybody empties out the box, but it's basically playing a cover one, five-man rush. Let those guys rush the outside gap. QB draw right up the middle, replacing those guys. Safety's still in there. There was a flag that comes in right here, but it's a legal hands to the face. So right there, still had to be getting an extra 15 yards off that. But draw against that five-man front. Everybody's running out. Right here, you can see the out route. If they wouldn't have driven to it, he's probably throwing that thing. Pretty obvious right there, though. Man-to-man. -man. Replace the middle of the box. Great call for North Dakota State. Here's a great look right here. Just running inside zone. So right there, you're going to base there. You're probably going to double there up. These guys are working there up as well. Fullback comes across, and he's blocking for the quarterback. There's your read on this inside zone. He squeezes, and great job here. This is the linebacker as well. He's squeezing in. Fullback's able to wrap around, get to that outside shoulder of that defender. Gets him pinned, and they're able to get in the end zone right there. So big call right here in the second quarter. Squeezing down, taking advantage of those guys' rules, and getting an extra blocker to the backside with that fullback, arcing around. Great call, great design there for North Dakota State. All right, unbalanced set. Unbalanced set here for North Dakota State. You got a guy off the ball. You got two on the hip ball here. Fly motion. It's man-to-man, -man, so that vacates this area with that corner. And they're just running counter. So huge bubble right here to run a counter. Work all the way to the back side. Pull the kick there. Pull the lead here. And we'll see what happens. So great job here as well. They see a linebacker that's setting down. So instead of working all the way to the back side, this guy actually just works through there. He shows up in the gap. So we got to take him, which is a thing of beauty. So we take that blitzer. All these guys' eyes, they're seeing that fly motion. They're not looking at the guards, which they should be. And that's what gets them. So right here, this linebacker. Starts that flow that way, and now he's having to get to the back. So there's the kick on the DN, which there's nobody left. So he's got to box this thing in. There's the kick. There's the lead on that linebacker that, instead of watching guards, was watching the backfield. Nobody left here but the safety in that entire third of the field. Explosive play right there. Great job seeing that blitzer, washing that down. A little bit of misdirection. Got some guys going the wrong way as well. Just a little bit of motion. Counter. Turns to a big play there for North Dakota State. Got a couple looks here, this heavy set. They ran this in a lot of crucial situations. Third and one here. Everybody's just blocking down, blocking down. All we're doing is creating a massive humanity over here to the left side. And this back even gets in the, in the way. That dude needs to go either get aligned over here and lead, or he needs to go a little bit faster to help lead off the edge. But right there, just getting downhill, bounces that thing all the way into, I think that'd be the E-gap. It's really rare that you're talking about E-gaps, but he gets into the E-gap, falls forward on third and one, gets a good first down. Just on down blocking, running duo with the quarterback. They're looking at the same play, same formation, really, from uh, Colorado, from North Dakota State. Again, down blocking, you got some bigger bodies here, tight ends. This time the back is on this side, so it makes it a little bit easier. Other quarterbacks in, they, they roll these two quarterbacks in. They both play pretty well, but right there you can see. Getting that back to lead as well is very helpful. He ends up helping out on six. Quarterback's hitting this with some momentum. Big play, this is a fourth and one, and they're just running straight downhill duo. With the lead from the back, getting people moved right here. I don't think Colorado's probably seen this kind of run game in their camp based on what we saw in, at this game. Hardly any run game from Colorado. Uh, but right there, running right at them, making them make a play on short yardage. Look at some of the passing. Now we're going to take a look at some of the passing game here. Uh, just a bit of a flood here. You got three receiver route, but really the thing was is you're getting an option route here on this guy. So you got a running back on this Mike linebacker. Going to turn to a big play. For North Dakota State, this may be a check swing as well, but you see quarterbacks looking here. Looks like an out, another out, intermediate out, whatever it is. Flood route, but right here. List linebacker, he's just getting there. His eyes aren't on that guy at all. And now whenever he beats him to the middle of the field, again, he's staring at the quarterback instead of staring at the guy that he should be guarding. And, I mean, easy throw and catch. Nobody left in the middle of the field. They vacate. He's the only guy that can stop this route. Great patience here by the quarterback, resetting his feet. And just throwing a fadeaway, easy throwing catch, turns to a huge play. This is early in the game as well. So this kind of set the tone. Hey, North Coast State's here to play. Give it to his guy. Beat that linebacker one-on-one -on -one who's just staring into the backfield. Here's another route that's really good from North Coast State. You got outside leverage, cover one. It looks like he paces himself off the ball. 
gives you a little bit of skip off the ball, then he sticks it, goes to the out, and then he puts the brakes on it and works back in. So again, boom, sticks to the out, then works back in. You can see that guy's way outside his frame on this cut. No chance, tons of space in the middle of the field. And with this blitz, bringing a six-man blitz, it's obviously it's gonna be cover one with the outside leverage, one high. And with that out break, then he breaks back in, tons of space, good throwing catch, makes another guy miss. There's an explosive play there for North Dakota State, just an out and in. Based on leverage there, had him beat. Great timing, great throwing catch, and then making a guy miss, making something happen in open field. Here's a great look of a rub. And on this one, you see there's some fly motion. It's obviously man to man. He's running here, he's running a pick. And you've got a wheel there out of the backfield from the tight end. And as you see, make him go over the top. He's trying to pick him right there. On, there's just a little bit of contact. Could this be honest pass interference? Maybe, but they really didn't, they didn't even make contact. His body's just there, and that guy jumps out of the way. Great adjustment here by the tight end as well, going down and making sure of the catch. Play action across, but really don't even need any play action. It's just basically two-on-two two right here, and they run pick-and-roll basketball, and they get their guy open right there on the roll. Easy throwing catch. Pretty good throwing catch, having to reach down and get it, and then finish in the end zone. Showing some pretty good hips there by that tight end. And again, good concept. That fly motion, getting guys off of it, and getting guys to run across, and then just getting the rub on the guy that's obviously manned up on that tight end. Another look of a rub. These dudes were absolutely getting after it. Pretty obvious. Hey, if it's man to man, you see that guy running, that guy's got to be manned up on the running back. So what happens is these guys basically go and they set a pick for that wheel out of the backfield. And right here you can see how hard he's trying to get over the top of that. These guys are manned up on these two. And he's made up on that motion. So you're basically looking one to the wheel, two to the check down. These guys are probably leaking out late. They may be one of those things where they could pop wide open. But with that man-to-man, -man, getting that rub on that linebacker, nobody switches it off or anything. So they flip it out there to the back. And he is wide open. Of course, that Mike was trying to run over the top of it. No chance right here with these tight ends. Basically blocking them right there. And his own defenders, you see he gets kneed right in the nuts, trying to get over the top of it. I mean, that, that's a little bit of insult to injury right there. Absolutely kicked right in the nuts. Uh, opens it up for that running back down the sideline. Explosive play. Great design by North Dakota State. Here's the exact same play later in the game. Same motion, same everything. And right there, they zone it off. So right here, great change up here for Colorado. They end up playing zone, widening out right there so it doesn't open up nearly like it did the last play in man-to-man. -man. So it forces the quarterback to scramble. And they end up getting him on the ground on this one. So they took away that initial option, which was that running back to the wheel. They go zone. All right, took it away. Quarterback really didn't have much. Had to scramble around. So as you can see, Colorado did make a little bit of an adjustment. Ended up going zone off that motion, that formation, as opposed to man-to-man. -man, and they were able to get the quarterback on the ground for a sack. So now that they ended up going zone instead of man-to-man, -man, now this is when things like this can come open. Just a bit of a levels concept. You're going to cross here. You get a basic check swing there out of that running back so they'll widen that out. With that guy working across, should take this mic. And then this guy, if he goes to the flats, it opens it up for that basic back to the middle of the field. And that's what they get to right here. This is on a second and 15. So a big completion right there at the sticks. Again, this is uh, the drive where they went down and scored a touchdown late to kind of cover. Uh, but right there, threw it right through the window. Great design to beat that zone coverage. Down here on the goal line, last thing we're going to look at, we're getting a rub. Obviously, it's man-to-man. -man, boom. He's going to the flats. Sprint out to it. And as you see, going right at that guy. Make him go underneath. Slows down a little bit. We got the edge right there. And just bounce it to him. I mean, it's got to be an accurate football on the run. Put it on the outside shoulder so he can get into the end zone. If you don't like that, now you got this guy working here as well. They may try to switch it off and may create space, but need to have an accurate ball right there if we don't like that. I think he is coming open. Got to make this throw, especially at this point in the game, to get within three. Uh, but again, getting guys wide open. That's what North Dakota State does. Just don't quite execute right here on this one. With that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching. I know it's early in the season. Got some North Dakota State, got some Colorado, got some other games. Make sure you're taking a look at those if you get a chance, and make sure you're subscribed so you can catch all the different games, all the different breakdowns we're going to have throughout the year. But we'll see you guys again in the next video.